as we know, the Aptos airdrop was absolutely massive with people earning thousands of dollars in free cryptocurrency from airdrops. And the same thing happened before that with Optimism, with people earning up to $10,000 worth in free cryptocurrency by participating and in getting involved early. Now, when you compare Sui and Aptos, they both came out of pretty much the same project, Libra, later to be called Diem, that came out of Meta's failed blockchain program. Now, what's most interesting is Aptos was the most recent and the most developed amongst it and Sui, and it recently just dropped its token and a lot of hype behind the ecosystem and the protocol itself drove the valuation to be extremely high and people who got the airdrop to receive anywhere between five to seven thousand dollars worth in free crypto now because both projects came out of the same ecosystem there's been a lot of hype and consideration that sui could also do something like that down the road now we're going to talk about some of the things regarding aptos versus sui the potential of an airdrop and some things to be wary and cautious about and some things to prepare yourself for if you want to participate in getting yourself prepared for the opportunity and possibility if SWE does an airdrop in the future. So all of that is going to be covered in today's video. If you're new here, my name is Alex. We talk about crypto, crypto news, crypto passive income, and just opportunities in crypto in general. If you enjoy content like that, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's jump into the video. So what is sweet? Before we get into that, there are chapters outlined down below. If you want to skip to different sections of the video, feel free to do so. But this is intended to be a complete guide to SWE and the aspects of the protocol itself and how it differs from Aptos as well. So first off, what is SWE? And first off, what's... <laughs> How is it pronounced? It is SWE. It is not SUI. I've been corrected multiple times. So if you want to be on the better half of the SWE community, just pronounce it SWE. Now, the project itself was out of the ashes of Libra, then rebranded to Diem, and then sold off. Now, Libra was a project that was first started by Facebook, now known as Meta. Those assets then were sold off and a lot of the developers and contributors behind Libra DM went on and found Aptos, Sui and another protocol. Now, what's most interesting behind this is they took the technology that they developed while they were at Meta and incorporated it within Aptos and Sui. And that is a new programming language called Move. Move is very interesting because it allows transactions to happen in parallel, making it faster and more efficient. In many ways, it's very to the likes of some ways that Solana works and why Solana boasts such high transactions per second. Now, with that said, it's very unique and in many ways, developers find this a much more friendlier opportunity than what occurs currently with Solidity. So that is a huge plus to Sui. And on top of that, the only real big con as far as just in general is it's very much venture capital backed. So for retail, it's kind of very much de looked down upon. In many ways, the same thing that happened with Aptos when the tokenomics were released, it didn't gain a lot of respect from the retail community because the majority of the tokens we're going back to developers or venture capital. So in many aspects, a similar approach will probably be likely with SWE, especially after they recently just raised $300 million in a Series B raising.